I'm Heaven, and I have a page for awareness for CP, and it's called A Stairway to the Stars, Heaven's Journey with CP, and I just wanted to tell you, like, the stuff I had to do when I was little to get where I am now. First, I had to do physical therapy, age two to six, and I had to do yoga, and I had to get in a ball pit, and yoga was probably the most less fun, um, so yeah, um, and I didn't really like yoga, so, yeah, and I had to climb stairs, and that's how I learned how to use my, um, left side more than my right side on stairs, but at the time, I guess, that's okay because at the time I didn't really even know how to climb stairs. So, yeah. And I had to learn how to walk on unbalanced surfaces. And that wasn't as fun either. But it got me where I am today. So, uh, I did occupational therapy. And I would have to stick pegs in a board and so I would basically ignore my right side I would use my left side because it was easier for me to use my left side than my right side and I would and um I did therapy and I would have to have a mirror and I would put shaving cream on it and I would put my feet on it and rub it to help my feet better and when I did this stuff my my legs actually hurt because they weren't as good as they were supposed to be um I had to do puzzles and all of this stuff in occupational therapy helped me write better and I did water, water therapy, which helped a lot, because now I know how to swim and move my legs when I can, and so that was a big help. And um, all this stuff mostly came from a lady named Miss Ruth that I called her, and she was a big help in all this stuff. I did horseback riding, and um, I would pick up bean bags and go around the whole thing, and that some people would hold it the horse while I was on it, and that was pretty fun. That was probably the funnest thing when I did therapy. Here's one picture, and here's another. There we go. I'm going to show you that one, other one again so you can see it better. There you go. And, um, I wore braces on my legs. And most of the time when I sit crisscross, they would pinch me because, you know, they would pinch my legs just a little bit because they're braces. And I only got to wear tennis shoes with them, mostly. So that wasn't as fun. So, yeah. And they would help me walk better. And I would have to wear them age 2 to 9. So, um, I, I just recently got out of them a while ago. Because now I'm 10, so that was only like a year ago. So I'm glad to be out of them, but, yeah. And I do dance class, and um, it helps me jump better now a little bit, and it helps stretch my legs because sometimes they say at shiners that my heel cords get tight, so that helps that. And so yeah, I'm happy to go to dance class. It's actually kindly fun. So yeah, it's really
and so yeah, and I, I, in all of this, I am gifted for what the things I can do, and what I don't think about what I can't do, so, and mo I'm here to tell all the kids that basically have to do, like, this stuff kindly, kind of like me, I'm here to tell them that it will get better, and if you do this stuff, it helps you a lot, because I can write really good because of my occupational therapy and I can write better from brushing the horse I used to ride in horseback riding and I can walk better but I still have to walk slow I still walk slow but that's okay and um I'm gifted the way, uh, I mean, I'm gifted because I can do things and I don't think of what I can't do if other people have it worse than I do. And I'm here to tell some kids that, you know, it's going to get better. This is not fun, but it won't be fun, but the reward you get out of it doing it is greater than what you had to do because I'm out of braces I can write better and so that really helped a lot and I'm hoping it will help you too if you do this thing these things so that's that's basically what I wanted to tell you guys so bye